I'm Jack Wilson. I'm with Sutherland Presses. I'm the president of the company. We are a family-owned company, and I'm the third generation. It was started by my grandfather in the 60s. And we currently manufacture hydraulic presses like the one you're seeing here, mechanical presses for sheet metal stamping, and forge presses for hot and cold forging. Um, one of the main focuses of our company is the control systems, the, the brains of the press, how companies interact with the press, how maintenance teams and operators use the press and get feedback from it. So this is our iPress control system, and we have this on our hydraulic presses, our mechanical and forge presses. They're all built on an Allen Bradley hardware platform, Allen Bradley PLC and HMI screen. And our focus is really to make them as intuitive as possible so operators can learn to use them quickly, but still have the depth of data that you can extract from the control system to maximize your production capacity. Uh, so this would be a main run screen of this hydraulic press. And by using this navigation button, you click through all the other screens to access various areas of the press control. Uh, I think we can get this press running by engaging the prior action. Now it's in a dwell mode where it's holding the bottom position, uh, mostly for composites. Uh, hydraulic press is the best route to go. Um, we, different than most hydraulic press companies, use a servo motor to drive the hydraulic system. So that's why you can tell that the operation of the press is so quiet. It transitions through run phases instantly and very accurately. Uh, for composite forming, the accuracy of a press is critical. That actually, to produce um, a highly accurate part, you need a highly accurate press. So that servo drive is really what gives our presses that and differentiates us from our competition. Uh, this press is specifically equipped with four linear transducers. So there's one on each corner of the press and that allows for individual position readouts throughout the entire bed area, which is also important for composite material to make sure that you're forming the part in the dwell mode as flat as possible. So you can see it's graphing the position of the entire bed area. This is our setup page of how you would set up a stroke profile. So you can select in each run mode where in the stroke to transition between those modes, what speed to run and what pressure to run. And then of course a dwell mode where you can set that to any time needed to cure the product and then fast return modes. Within our press control system, we have uh, maintenance schedules for your maintenance team. Uh, we have performance pages to maximize your production. Uh, we have cams, programmable cams and die monitoring. So all the tools to help produce the best part possible in the best production rate time. They're so versatile. It's really, really good for any type of production. Fiberglass, carbon fiber, uh, sheet molded compounds. Um, and really that's what we try to design with the high pressure unit being servo combined with our eye press control of giving the customer an extremely versatile piece of equipment you know, that they can use for any product. Uh, this press specifically is, is being used in a research facility, so they're changing out tooling a couple of times a day, trying different things, and, and using the feedback from the control to dial in their tooling and process as good as possible.